Hello everybody! Yeah, I'm feeling kind of chatty today, so to prevent that, I'm just gonna go right into this video. Today I am showing you my full coverage, flawless face routine. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my skin has been pretty good for a while. It's been like maybe a week and now I'm gonna jinx that and I'm just gonna have a massive breakout tomorrow. I think that I have found my 100% perfect routine that works for me that I don't really want to stray from anytime soon so we're going to go through that right now. So first off we're gonna start with an eye cream because eye creams are obviously important when you are tired and in school and not sleeping and you've got fine lines under your eyes like myself so we're just gonna pop this guy under the eyes. My favorite one, like the one that I have seen maximum results from, I can't even get over it is the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. Yeah, I'm completely obsessed with this eye cream. It's absolutely perfect. I have never used an eye cream that has given me the effects that it has. Alright, so next I'm so excited about this. It's so beautiful. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. It's the same. I'm basically using this in place of my strobe cream. The strobe cream gives quite an opalescent um, white casted white casted or white cast finish. The Wonder Glow is very golden and like glowy. Yeah, it's just glowy. It's not that the MAC one wasn't glowy, but do you see what I mean? This one is like, it's just got that golden sheen to it, whereas the MAC one was like white. I prefer this one. It's more natural looking. The price tag is definitely a little bit more than the MAC one, so if you don't like how much that guy is, then you can definitely still use the MAC guy. Alright, so then I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I don't always use this. This would be what I would use when I'm really having a horrible breakout. If I'm not, I use something lighter like the uh, Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation that I've been using lately, and I love that. But I just want to show you my fullest full coverage. I cannot emphasize to you enough how much you need the Beauty Blender in your life if you do not have it. It is 105 thousand bajillion percent worth the price tag. It is worth the splurge, people. It is worth the splurge. It is such a beautiful, beautiful makeup tool. Oh, it just blends everything out so beautifully and makes any makeup you put on your face look like skin. It is so perfect. So I just blend this foundation out and then I just continue adding more in the spots that I need it. Like I said, my skin kind of isn't acting up right now, which is so, so rare and so lovely. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just going to do one layer, but don't be afraid to put more on when you need it. Just make sure that you're not starting out with too much foundation. You really want to layer the layers on because if you just slap on a bunch of foundation with your fingers and just like blob it onto your face, then that's when the foundation is going to look really cakey on the skin. So I always like to start off the back of my hand, I take my finger, I dab it on a little bit, blend it in with the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender really helps because it takes off the excess product, but by starting out slowly and adding on layers, that's really going to help the foundation absorb into your skin and look more natural. So my next step, as always, is to take my Bobbi Brown Corrector, and I'm just going to pop this guy underneath the eyes and I actually leave this for a minute to settle in. I really 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 recommend a corrector if you suffer from dark circles under your eyes. It just really helps to add that intense brightness underneath the eyes and a concealer. I don't really know how to explain it. Like I mean you it's really if you're on a budget, it's not a necessary step, I'd say. I'd say, like, get the concealer over the corrector. But when I use a concealer, I feel like you get that, um, when, when you have really dark circles and you just put a concealer on over top of it, you almost get that gray look. Like, it's like taking black and just rubbing some skin-colored crap on top of it, and you get that gray hue. When you use a corrector, it just brightens that. There's no gray left over from the concealer. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain, but you should test it out on yourself. The Bobbi Brown Corrector, obviously I've talked about it in every single video that I've ever made. I've repurchased it. It's with me for life. Like, I will never part from the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I'm going to eat my words if a new corrector ever comes out, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to be fine with this forever, so... Oh my god, I'm gonna stop laughing. The next step in my full coverage world is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This makes my face flawless. Like, it makes your face look perfect. I have never gotten so many more compliments on my skin than when I have been using this these last few weeks. I can't even believe it. I use the shade NC15 for anyone who is possibly wondering. Okay, so I pump it out onto my hand. I've just taken three pumps. I'm gonna take my finger and I kind of swipe it. Like, I definitely go heavy with this because the Beauty Blender will take off a lot of product, but I dot this all over my face on any redness and any places I need some excess coverage. 
And a little definitely goes a long way with this one. I know some people complain about how much one pump gives out, but I definitely like using more than one pump because I put this all over my face. And then I take the Beauty Blender and I just buff it out. Make sure to act really quickly with this Pro Longwear Concealer because it does set very quickly and then you'll have a hard time moving it around your face. But I just blend this in everywhere and it pretty much just leaves your face looking perfect and flawless. So much blending, blending forever. Ah. So after the concealer is buffed in with the Beauty Blender, it's pretty much flawless. My lips are a little bit white right now. It's just, uh, <laughs> hello, Lee. I'll come get you. But just don't be frightened. I'm mid-filming video, so my face is white. White. Okay, where were we? I'm back. So now we're going to set the under eye area using the MAC Emphasize, whatever powder that's called, and I'm going to take the Sephora Pro Precision Blush Brush number 73. For all of those who've asked what brush I normally use for highlighting slash what I use to set the under eyes, this is the brush I use, the Sephora number 73. So I'm just taking a little bit of the Emphasize underneath the eyes, and it just really brightens up that area. If you use too much, it can definitely uh, separate the foundation and make it kind of flaky a little bit, so just be a little bit sparing with it. And now time for the most exciting thing in the whole world. <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, my friends. Oh yes, let's play. So I'm going to contour with the Sculpt shade using the MAC 180 Dual Fiber Brush. And I'm going to just really lightly fluff this into the contours of the face. I really like this shade because you, it's like impossible to go too heavy with it. It's just so stunning and it totally gives you a cheekbone. Look at that. Look at the difference between the two sides. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It is so amazing. So we're just going to keep fluffing that in. And I just take this down the sides of my nose a wee bit. And I actually like to take this also on the temples of my face. And I just kind of use it in swirling motions to make it not like I've just blobbed on a bunch of poop onto my face. Just like this. I'll take a little bit underneath the lip as well. Perfect. Alright, then I'm going to go in with blush and the one I've been loving lately, as I've said in my previous video, is the MAC Tenderling Brush. Blush? Blush and the Bobbi Brown Blush Brush. Try saying that ten times fast. Ooh! I like to swirl this guy. I like to, like, swirl it. I don't know why it makes a difference, but it seems to make a difference on my skin. Um, and yeah, just put that on. It's just the most perfect, natural, flush blush that I've ever found. I absolutely love it. I'm completely obsessed. It's so nice. I love it. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go back into the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and use the highlight shade. And we're going to use Charlotte's Powder and Sculpt brush to do this. It's a really beautiful brush. So with highlighter, I like to go from the pupil of my eye-ish, that kind of area, like the middle of your cheek, and do like a Nike swoop up. Swoop it up all the way around, and I kind of just like to fluff that around. So start from the middle of the eye, fluff it up. And you want to go like... Like where you place the blush, you want to kind of go just above that, but imagine a line. Imagine there's a line on your blush. You want to be slightly above it, slightly below it, so just like right in the middle of that line so it's above the blush, but still connecting with the blush. That probably made no sense, but I hope it did. Oh my gosh, we're going to dust this on the nose. Take a little bit onto the Cupid's bow here. Do -do 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 -do. And that's it for the highlighter. So then what I'm going to do, I've been really trying to use up my NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm trying to use it up so I can get rid of it out of my drawer and clear up some space. I'm on like a whole purging, binging front lately. I don't know. I just really want to get rid of some stuff. I have too much and I'm overwhelmed with the amount of crap that is inside my drawers. <laughs> so with bronzer, what I like to do, keep the idea of a three in mind. So I like to kind of, I always start from my cheeks. So I follow the contour line that I make and I swoop up. I just blend in circular motions around the face in a three motion. Take it down to the jawline. So it's like bloop, 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 like this. 
Do the same on the other side. I like to take it down my neck just because I'm so pale. If I use bronzer, I have to make it equal, you know, white people problems. <sighs> and then I also like to take my bronzer in the middle of my nose and on my upper lip like this just to make it even so that there's not like a total white inside. So then once I have added the bronzer, my flawless face routine is complete. This is it. That's that's about it, y'all. It's pretty much what I do when I want to go out, when I want to have a perfect, solid, no redness complexion. But that is everything for my flawless face foundation routine, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. <coughs> Peace out, y'all.